Well, we were gonna go camping today, but probably not now because we can't get the slide in and out. So I just spent uh, some time on the phone with Jayco, with a real nice lady, and she uh, did point me to where the motors are. And hopefully with uh, the tool that they provided in the kit, I'll be able to run the slide in manually for now. But this is something that I don't think that I can fix at this point. And if this works, we can at least get the slide in and travel and uh, we just won't be able to run it in and out. And uh, what a pain, what a pain. But I do have an appointment set up now for February 7th was the quickest they could finally get us in. Finally have to go to RV1 because it's the closest one that we have. I don't, I didn't want to. She looked up some other dealers that would, and then Jaco just said, she said they don't have mobile techs, which kind of sucks. So if I can't get it in, then I am going to have to get a mobile tech and I'll have to get a written estimate and then they'll have to send that to Jayco. They'll have to approve it. It's just, uh, this RV, I hate to say it, it's been one thing after another in this RV and this one is a major one. Um, pretty disappointed right now. We should be on the road to uh, Cedar Key. So apparently the override motor is up in here. It's going to be hard for me to see because I don't have a lot of headroom. But it, uh, I think I did feel it. And there will be one over here on this side as well. And let me see if I can feel it. Uh, yes, I do feel it. I, I can feel it down in there. So I have to just uh, run it in a little at a time. That's going to be tough too because how am I going to go back and forth from here to here with this slide in? I don't have enough room to run that slide out. I guess I'll be climbing over the island. Oh, I think it's going out. <clears throat> is it slowly moving in? I think it is. Real slow. Well, I think we're going to get it in this time. We're moving it slowly but surely by using the, the drill on this side. This side over here, the motor is working. It's just popping. And... Uh, the drill isn't even affecting the motor up there so we get this in this weekend we are just going to camp with this slide in screw it we need to get away i tell you our luck lately has not been the greatest it's time for some stuff to turn around for us i hope mercy we should have been getting close to cedar key at this point but i'm just happy that we're going to be able to get this in we're not going to have to call a mobile tech because uh, we do have an appointment, like I said, uh, February 7th with RV1 to take this in and get things fixed. Downside of RV life, stuff will break. So we are having to go back and forth. He does that side. Then we come over to this side and he literally pushes on the outside while I retract. And it's back and forth, back and forth. Well, at least I'm able to leave my drill in this side, which is kind of nice. So the positive thing is we are actually getting the slide in, so we don't have to call to have someone come out and do it for us. We can camp like this for tonight, and we got another camping trip planned at the end of the month. So the only thing we won't be able to get to is our refrigerator and our oven, but uh, I cook outside anyway. Well, we finally got it in on this side, all the way in, and Chuck had to climb over the table to get back over to the other side. So we are now getting the other side. It looks yeah. like it's pretty close. If you want to go out with the videotape and see when it seats up against the thing and yell at me to stop. Okay. Hey, go ahead. You'll have to tap on the glass probably. Okay. Keep going. Keep going. I know it's getting hot in my hand. <clears throat> All right. Well, you're going to have to drive us to Cedar Key now because I'm going to have to ride back here until we get there. <laughs>
No. Find a way over. Huh? Watch me break the table now. Don't break the lights. Oh. Be shit. careful with those lights. Oh my goodness. Be careful with the lip down here. We made it. Made it. We're going camping. Getting ready to head out. A couple hours maybe or so later than what we had planned on because of this slide issue. But it is in, as you can see. And uh, we're just going to camp with it in this weekend. Man, we've had a string of luck lately, I'll tell you that much. I am ready for some good luck and some things to start going our way for a change. Three hours later and we are finally on the road. I told Allie yesterday, I said, uh, I'd like to get there before dark, so get when you get out of school, you know, hurry home. Well, that didn't prove uh, to be any benefit of her getting home early because I was dealing with a slide. I am exhausted from a long week at work and ready for a little relaxation this weekend. Even though last week I had off the whole entire week, but I was dealing with a lot of health issues, so I didn't really feel like I did have a week off. <laughs> no, not at all. <clears throat> so we're ready to get there, get set up, and definitely partake in a few shots of tequila tonight. Oh yeah. What do you say? I say this sucks because our slide out is not all the way out and we're making do with it, but it's not our real RV. Well, it is what it is. It, we could be home doing nothing though right now. So the way I see it, is it ideal? Do we want our RV to work the way it's supposed to work? Yes. Yes. <gasps> so what was this whole thing uh, that Miss Allie said that they had eight spots available? So we pulled in here in the dark a couple hours later than we're supposed to be and we got the last big spot i think we did so what, there's one a couple down from us but it's not big enough for us no so we got lucky Okay, it's time to go in and pay. So with this campground here, you have to basically, if you're coming in after hours, you just pick a site and go in and pay in the next morning. And it's cash only here. So heading over to the office now to check in, tell them what site number we're in and pay for the next uh, couple nights, plus last night. One of the cool things about staying here at Shell Mound Campground is literally you're just a two minute drive, or you could even hike over here to hike the actual Shell Mound, which is always a fun hike. We've done it many, many times. And that's what we're gonna do right now. Me and Nikki are actually gonna do some hiking while Allie takes a little, you know, mid-morning siesta as we got up kind of early this morning. Sun's finally out. I think it'll be a nice, time for a hike it's still really windy but I think with all the trees on the hiking trail I think we'll be shielded from the wind so it won't be feel too bad that wind is making the temperatures feel very much colder than what it is it's supposed to be 40 degrees right now I think the wind chill is like 32 so hopefully we get inside this trail and it will shield us from the wind so this is the actual shell mound trail here it is so hard to believe that all this was built up over many, 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 many years, many, many, many years ago from the Native Americans here eating shellfish. And basically this was their garbage dump. And they have a lot of these along the trail here too where you can uh, stop and read some history. I know we've showed this in the past 
But for those of you who are new to the channel and may have not have seen some of our older videos, figure we'll do a little refresher. I'll also put a link to one of our previous videos from this area. This is a nice little hiking trail. I think we're gonna try to find another, uh, there's a couple other hiking trails up in this area and nature preserves. So we're just gonna let Allie sleep and we're gonna go check out a couple others that we have never really hiked before since the weather's nice. And by nice, I mean not scorchingly hot. Okay, so we have actually, me and Allie actually hiked this a couple years ago. I believe it was our last trip in the White Hawk that we actually came out here and hiked a little bit on this. Whew, it's gonna be colder on this trail though. There is no trees to block the wind. And Nikki has to stop and smell every post, every bush. Never gets old for her. All right. So this is an equestrian trail too. So since it's just me and uh, Nikki today, we might see just how far we can go with it. Well, on second thought, we are not very far into this trail and it does not look like it's been maintained and mowed recently. And there's a lot of foxtail here. And I don't want to take Nikki into that and take a chance on her getting that in her fur and becoming an issue. So scratch that, we're not gonna hike this trail. I guess we will go down and maybe do the uh, train trestle trail, which we haven't done in a couple years, which is a nice little short trail where the Cedar Key Railroad used to come through. And we really didn't pack very good for this trip as far as cold. I left my stocking cap at home. She left her heavy coat at home. And I'm just hoping that when we go to the Big Deck Bar tonight, that it's not too cold that we can't sit out there and eat. I hope they have the heaters running. So this RV park on the right used to be called Sunset Isle, and it was the first actual RV camp, well, I guess it still is called Sunset Isle. It changed names for a while, but we did stay there once before. A little more on the pricey side. And coming up on the right here is the low key Tiki bar and RV park. If you want to call it a park, there's a few RV spaces here on the right. I actually looked those up this time and they are like $100 a night. So a little too pricey for us for, you know, what this is. I mean, we love Cedar Key, but I don't think I would want to spend $100 just to stay there and have it be backed up on the water. Shell Mound is good enough for us and it's $25 a night cash. So that's another thing we have to get fixed. If you can see our backup camera. Yeah, it's nothing but a hazy picture. And Ford does have a recall on this, but uh, as of now, can't get it replaced because they don't have a part that will fix the problem. I don't understand why they can't just put me a new camera in because right now I can't see. It makes it hard to hook up the RV. So we've only hiked this trail once before. It was in the summertime, it was extremely hot. So it should be quite enjoyable today, seeing as how very cool. Very windy. So this is the end of the trail here at the Train Trestle Trail. And let's see, it was about three tenths of a mile hike. So a little over half a mile out and back. But this is where the train used to go across. You can see remnants and of the posts in the water. This is a good little trail if you guys are looking for a trail to hike easy and you're just basically hiking along the top of the train trestle. And the sun is out, the wind has died down a little bit and it is absolutely perfect weather. 
love this weather. So I've been doing a little bit more research on what could possibly be wrong here. And I found a couple YouTube videos that actually shows the inside of this exact uh, cable slide system. And I'm betting anything that the gear on the motor has either broken or it's bad and it's slipping, the chain is slipping inside there. Obviously I'm still taking it in for warranty service and uh, let them handle it. But I have a feeling that's probably what's going on. We'll find out and we will keep you updated. We are back down in downtown Cedar Key. This is our first trip down here since we got into the campground last night. And first thing we notice right off the bat is one of our favorite old buildings that was basically nothing for a long time. They are renovating it right up here on the right. It's getting renovated. Looks like they're going to open it up into something. But one sad thing is the leaning post that we took so many pictures with is gone. Is gone. It's no longer a leaning right post. Right there, where it says 497. Yep. They have finally finished the bridge here. And it looks awesome. New handrails or guardrails or whatever you want to call them. And it looks like sunsets. And this is a perfect place to catch a sunset. So definitely uh, some changes going on here in Cedar Key. And the big deck bar you see on the left here is our favorite place to go to for shrimp, which I'd like to have some shrimp tonight. That's going to be the plan. And also we've been uh, recommended by some of you guys out there that have been here to check out steamers. So we've never been to steamers because it's not pet friendly, but as Nikki has gotten a little older and a little calmer, we can leave her now in the RV some. So I think the plan for tomorrow night is to leave her behind and come down and try out steamers. All the times we've been here, we've always wanted to. I think this is our perfect chance to do it with the weather nice and cool. We don't have to worry about something happening with the air conditioner kicking off or anything and her getting too hot. Okay, so it is getting on to evening time. I wanted to get the bike out and take a ride before it gets too dark. Allie says it's too cold, so I'm riding solo. So this is the Dennis Creek Trail here at Shell Mound. And if I remember right, this is big enough that you could definitely take a bike on it. This is a fairly smooth trail. Definitely easy enough to ride a bike on. This is where the boardwalk is. I do remember this. This is nice through here. It's definitely a beautiful area here. And yeah, the sun is setting quick. So finish up this ride and then we're going to head in town to the Big Deck Bar and grab some food. Well, we're heading downtown to our favorite little spot, the Big Deck Bar. The sun is actually already set tonight. We missed sunset down here. Cedar Key, if you've never been here, has some of the best sunsets you will find, especially this time of year, I think. Well, this doesn't happen often. We are parked literally right across from Big Deck Bar. We got lucky. Somebody was leaving right as we were uh, coming around. Well, good morning, guys. We had a really good night's sleep last night, but I tell you, before we went to sleep last night, the night sky here, stepping out of the RV was like stepping into a planetarium. I kid you not. I've seen some good night skies before, but I think last night was probably one of the best. And to top everything off, I was taking a long exposure photo with the iPhone and I caught the green comet just by sheer accident, if you want to say, or by sheer luck, if you want to say. And today it's much milder. Wind is not blowing so hard. It's going to be a little warmer today. I think, uh, I think Allie wants to go back and, and hike that train trestle trail that me and Nikki did yesterday. 
So we're going to get some breakfast in our bellies and we're going to head down there, do some hiking. And the plan is tonight to try a new restaurant that we've never tried here before. We're going to leave Nikki back in the RV and uh, go try steamers out. Well, we are back out on the railroad track trail. The trestle, train trestle trail. <laughs> and when Chuck was doing this yesterday, I was asleep. I was pretty hungover from drinking a little bit too much tequila the night before. And why did we drink a little bit too much? Because we were frustrated. Frustrated about our slide. And frustrated about a lot of things in life <laughs> that I've been going through lately. We're out today and we're hiking and it's a beautiful day. It's a little chilly in the shade, but in the sun it's perfect. So I know Chuck told you yesterday about our slide out situation and we were very upset about it, but we, we were very fortunate that we could get the slide back in though, manually. Yeah, working together, we were able to get it back in. Um, but we realized with the layout of our particular RV, you can still camp with that slide out in. I know that there are some layouts, some designs that it's very difficult because you're not able to get to the important things that you need when you're inside. But with our RV, you're still able to sit and watch TV. <laughs> you're still able to get around and get into a lot of the important areas. For example, we modified our kitchen for the weekend. The freezer is where all of our refrigerator things would be. We lower the temperature, or actually raise the temperature so that way it's not so cold. It will still freeze if you leave it in there long enough, but <laughs> it's, you know, we're making do. Yeah, and then we're still able to get to our coffee maker and our microwave. So, and we're able to still wash dishes just from the backside. <laughs> But we needed to get away. It's been a lot going on in our lives with me, with my surgery, mom being in the hospital and still in rehab. And, and we do have an to appointment work. to get it fixed uh, in February. Yeah. So we're probably gonna do one more camping trip yet this way with the slide in. Yeah, I mean, you know, hey, we had a Gulfstream Vista before when we first started camping and it was only 17 feet. Yeah, and if somebody wanted to get by, you'd have to wait for that person to go by before you could go by, so. Yeah, it had no slide outs. <clears throat> And if we could make that work, then we could make this work. Heck, we used to tent camp, so I mean, we're not really roughing it. But I know a lot of people think, oh, my slide out's not working, can't, can't go camping. Can't use it. Well, as long as the slide out is in and not working and not out and not working and you can't get it back in, which that was a fear of ours. So we weren't gonna be able to get it back in manually and we were gonna have to call a mobile tech out and go through that whole ordeal of getting them to give us a written estimate to send to Jayco for the warranty just to get it in, just to get it to the dealership to get the warranty coverage you know, on it. But we got it in. Such is life with RV camping. You have to be willing to roll with the punches and don't let it get you down. Even though when it does sometimes, you just gotta let it roll off your back and take it as it comes. That's but life. We have come to the end here. I think you remember this yesterday. It was extremely low tide, but look at it today. It's the tide's high. It's higher. As, as Blondie would say, or Blondie would sing, the tide is high. So am I. And we're moving on. <laughs> So we hiked this trail a couple years ago. It's a Cemetery Point Park. And basically the trail is mainly this boardwalk. And it will lead you hmm. down to some disc golf and other things. Yeah, they have a few of these little overlooks here too where you can sit down and you know, enjoy the views. Of course, right now it's mostly uh, those mangrove trees, I think. I guess this is technically the entrance right here to Cemetery Point Park. 
what we just did was just the trail getting to it, right? Uh-huh. And they do have disc golf here. So how many of you, comment below, love playing disc golf? We have never we, tried it yet. No, we have never tried it, but it looks fun. And we keep we, talking about doing it. And we like golf. We like playing frisbee. <laughs> Is it kind of a combination between two a little bit? Yeah. I think we need to go on uh, the old Amazon and order a cheap a set, set of discs just to see if we like it. And if you know a really good quality set, good name brand, it's not too expensive, but a good set, good quality set, let us know. Drop a comment below. Maybe this will warm me up. <laughs> so I won't be so cold. <laughs> Get my blood pumping. It's and I'm right. drinking a Celsius. Do you think I'm burning fat right now? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> well, one last sunset here at Cedar Key before we head out. We are heading over to Steamers, and we're going to let you guys know what we think of Steamers. This will be our first time there, and it gets really good reviews, so I'm looking forward to trying something different. So all in all, I would say, thank goodness that we were able to get the slide in manually and go ahead and get this camping trip in. It's been a great weekend up here in Cedar Key. Night sky, amazing as I've said before. Uh, unfortunately, last night I got up about 4.35 in the morning to try to catch the green comet and I couldn't see it because the moon was out and I think it was just making the sky too bright. But uh, we've had a very good time here, just what the doctor ordered and uh, as always, we love Cedar Key. Yes. And it's good to see that they're actually doing some upgrades in the town. Yeah. We're noticing some um, new start, places, yeah. being, new stores and restaurants being built. and um, They're so renovating the, that main, main strip there and some of those old buildings that we used to just walk by and there was nothing there. So now it looks like they're going to either be opening like, I, I don't know what it is I yet. I saw a bistro and I saw um, some place to get your hair cut, like a... Yeah. Hair cutting place. <laughs> yeah, so it's nice to see the town is uh, getting a little bit of a revitalizing. So an update. So for those of you that are following our channel and recently saw how I had to have emergency surgery, my incisions for my appendix are almost healed. So I did a really good job of taking care of them and um, everything's turning out great there. Mom is still in rehab, so she did leave the hospital. She is at rehab getting stronger and hopefully will be going home either next week or the week after. On a sad note, I still do have some lung issues going on. Um, they are going to be putting me on another six month round of antibiotics and a new medication for my microbacterial avium that is in my lungs um, after the recent bronchoscopy that I had. So hopefully in summer when I go and get rechecked, it'll be gone. So prayers that <laughs> It'll be gone in the summer. All right, guys, so if you are new here to the channel, we'd appreciate it if you just take a quick second and hit that subscribe button and ring that bell notification so you'll know when we upload new videos. And drop us a like and a comment. See ya.